All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make a quick tutorial today on basically how to edit your animations. So for instance, I got this in here. You can see what I've been building up. I got something I'm making happen. So we have this. All right, we're gonna stop it right now. But basically this animation that I have, let's go over here. I got, this is the animation for that right now. So we can see that animation. Now what I'm going to do is for this tutorial, I am going to duplicate it. So I'm going to basically duplicate this animation. We're just going to title this tutorial. Excuse me, I'm just going to put two. All right. So we're going to open that up. Basically you have your animation. You can use this depending on however you imported your animation. If it was through XNs, um, you know, Mixamo or just some that you bought. All right, so first off, um, what I do is, now I said there's probably other ways to, to go about doing this, but what I'm doing is I'm just showing you on my way. Like I said, this is what I do, right? So if you go in here, you can try to go through and hit these things as well. But what I notice is you just go to character, bones, all hierarchy, and now you can click on what you want to actually edit. So, um, Let's say, for instance, I want to start off with the way this is. Don't mind this. I did some other kind of importing of this animation. I just want to show you all this, uh, the values of how I did it. So let's say, for instance, you want to start here. You like how it starts. You can press key, and that's going to basically lock in the way the animation is. Um, or you can just press S. So I'm going to press S. So I got it clicked on the upper arm, and we got it locked in. And um, let's say, for instance, I want to be able to change my footing. I'm going to say here, we want to change this leg. So I'm going to hit S to leave it in that position. We'll see it come up. Then let's scroll down to the ending of this animation. Make this a little bit bigger. We want it there. And we like how it ends. And then we just press S. So now we have an animation. Now we can go in here in the center. Now, what you do is you got E that you can press, or you can press W. This is if you want to move it. Let's say, for instance, I want to move it a little bit over. But that's going to definitely make a little bit of a mistake with it. But let's just say we hit E. So now we can rotate. I want this foot to be coming out like that at this point. And um, that's still at the beginning, so I'm not going to do that. Let's say I want to have it right here in the center. I want right here, I want to see that foot raised up. Bam, just like that. We're going to hit S. And that's basically putting a keyframe. You can see that adjustment. And I probably want to do this as well. Let's do that to this one. All right. So we probably want to go back as well from the beginning. For that, we hit S. That's a keyframe there. And then we can move up. And then let's go to the ending. Basically, you want it to always, you don't have to always do it this way, but depending on if you like pretty much like the bookend of your animation. So here I'm going to open up both just like that. And then I hit S. We'll see that get ready to go in. So I have all of those. See how it goes. Now you can go through and do head adjustments. You can, and you can use these as well over here. So if you type in head, you can, um, go in there and then mess with the head if you wanted to do that as well make adjustments but let's say for instance you go through you can do your fingertips you can do everything right you like what you have now you, all you have to do is save it it's going to take some time so i'll fast forward this because it's basically just saving your thing all right so we have that it's all saved we can actually close out of here now now let's just go to my sequencer, right? So right now I have my old original animation. I'm just gonna move this thing over. Give me a second, I'm gonna move this bad boy over. Let's start it from the top. And I'm gonna go into my animation and we're gonna put our new one we just created in here. Oh, look at the feet now. All right, so take it off of this camera perspective so we can just see what I actually did. That's my animation that I just edited. So, and why would you want to use this? 
hey, anytime you want to have an animation, you probably want to do adjustments to the hands. You probably want to just really get things dialed in and tweaked in. You can always do that and bringing it into Unreal, you can be able to do that. So I wanted to make sure this was short and sweet, not too long. So basically, if you just wanted to edit your animation, you have the option and that's um, how you do it. So hopefully this helped. Um, it's going to help me as a reminder. Um, get out there, keep creating, and I'll talk to you later.